All right, yes, you're welcome to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment this morning. For you, we're just a busting the enter the show. No twerk. Ma Wojuche, Jones OK. As long as you're with Wazobia Max TV, you are doing okay. All right, the next bus stop right now, just before we close the cover of the Balanced Diet of Teletainment this morning, I want to catch the interview where we get with the general manager on top of the corporate communications of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, where we find that that Mrs. Herrieta Yakubu. We get one, well, we get opportunity to sit down with her and we ask her a certain question on top of putting the shell for inside the aviation sector, our airport, and the success of FAN. Make a watch. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria had recently banned individual and agency protocol activities at the airport. What informed this and how has the enforcement been? Actually, the um, instruction to ban this came from the office of the Vice President of Nigeria okay. and is in line with the ease of doing business. Um, aviation industry or aviation business is not static. It's progressive. Okay. And um, we needed to sanitize our arrival halls. Before now, when you come to our public concourses, you see a lot of activities, a lot of movements. Some of these people have no business being there, but they always come under the guise of protocol. So FAN decided to streamline it. All the protocol officers are now expected to register with FAN. We have a service we call Passenger Support Service. So all these protocol officers from the different agencies and ministries register with us. If they have principles they need to receive, they'll give us information ahead of time. Our protocol officers will receive them on their behalf and bring them out and hand them over to them at the public concourse. They are no longer allowed to come into arrival halls. They are no longer allowed to go to the avial bridges. Before now, you could see some protocol officers at the avial bridges. It's not done anywhere in the world. So we're doing this in order to sanitize our terminals and to reduce you know, movement of all kinds of people in our airports. Okay, talking about reducing the movement of people, um, is there anything being done in terms of making use of modern technologies like the CCTV and other techniques? You know, instead of sometimes you see heavily armed personnel, you know, restricting movement of people. Okay, the uh, MD fan, Captain Rabi Yadudu, is coming in with a lot of good ideas now. Very soon, interface between passenger and most of our staff at the airport will be reduced to the barest minimum. You're going to see a lot of self-service kiosks in all of our airports now to reduce interface. So most of the things that you're supposed to come to the airport to do them, there are things you can do on your smartphones, you can do at home, you can do at some of these kiosks just to reduce interface. Mm -hmm. And of course, this year too, we're improving on our CCTV coverage okay. to ensure that all of the nooks and crannies of our airports are covered so that if there are activities that are going on that are not supposed to go on, they'll be captured by these cameras just to reduce activities, you know, that are unwholesome and are not too palatable for us. Okay, what is the date of um, project delivery um, at airports across the country, uh, especially the new terminal at MM1 okay. and then the new car, uh, the car park? Okay, it's uh, Mutala Mohamed Airport, not Mutala Mohamed 1, International okay. Terminal. The okay. Honorable Thank Minister you. recently, while he was inspecting the um, Akanui Bam Airport at Enugu, did mention that he was going to deliver the uh, Malamamiri International Airport in Kano this year, and of course the new terminal at the Mutala Mohamed Airport. So these are two new projects that Nigerians are looking forward to. They will certainly be commissioned this year. Passengers, or perhaps travelers, have often complained of uh, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, okay. uh, trolley, okay. and harassment by tout. Mm. What is FAN doing? to checkmate all of this. Okay. I'm happy to, well, inform you that our aviation security, they've been able to manage and get rid of almost 99% of touts and touting activities around our airports. I want to use this medium to appeal to members of the public and air travelers. Please, when you get to the airport, go as much as possible yourself to the preferred airline you want to use. Go to the counters, buy your tickets yourself and check in yourself. When you do that, you're also helping us to get rid of touts. You know, and then on the other hand too, you know, the issue of all of this um, uh, infrastructure that you mentioned, that is why we're coming up with new terminals. Some of these facilities have become overstretched. If you know the Mutala Mohammed Airport was constructed like 40 years ago, 
and it was constructed to handle a particular number of passengers. But now we take care of so many millions of passengers in a year. So now that we're building new terminals, it will take care of all of this. But before then, we are working on improving all of these um, facilities we have in our lounges. If you go to the Motala Mohammed Airport now, can I show you that our conveyor belts are working? We service them regularly. Where we need to replace them, we replace them. And the same goes for all the other airports too. Okay, so what monitoring mechanism has found put in place to check the illegal activities of um, police officers, immigration, customs, allegedly extorting money from travelers? You know, when you say illegal activities, you know, fund does not work at the airports alone. All of these agencies we mentioned have a role or the other to play in the airports. The customs are there to check passengers coming in and of course to check those are traveling so that what they have a role. The police too are there to maintain law and order. They're helping our aviation security. So they all have a role to play. And when you talked about the CCTV cameras earlier on, they are there too to checkmate some of these activities. So if at all, they are doing any of these things, the CCTV camera will take care of them. But I can assure you that since the ease of doing business came in about two years ago, most of these activities have been streamlined. People do what they're expected to do at their airports now. Okay, um, maybe as a follow-up to that question, okay. uh, Fran has recently uh, suspended okay. a security officer yeah. uh, named Jennifer Luca yes, uh, for theft. Uh, what is Fran doing in this regard to stem this kind of activity among the others? What happened with Jennifer Luca was an unfortunate incident and it was a one-off thing. But I can assure you that now, for any person we employ into fun now, serious background checks are being carried out mm. on the individual before you're employed. Even if you're employed, we still carry out those checks to ensure that whoever is coming into the system is an honest citizen, you know, that will not embarrass mm. fun and not embarrass the country. Some people have actually blamed the rise or perhaps mm. the increase okay. in uh, the uh, drug paddling okay. on the inadequate, uh, the lack of fun having inadequate equipment to actually detect uh, these people while trying to pass through the airport. This, it, what's your take on this summation? Let me correct an impression. You know, I mentioned earlier that there are different agencies that work at the airport. Yeah. Um, drug detection is not done by FAN, it's done by the NDLEA. Mm -hmm. That is their solitary responsibility in our airports. Mm -hmm. And they're doing all that. In recent times, a lot of persons have been caught in our airports. I remember at the Mutala Mohammed Airport and at the Malam Aminu Kanu Airport, they were trying to traffic in drugs. I don't know if you remember the recent incident of someone that ingested 10 wraps of drugs that was caught recently at the Mutala Mohammed Airport. So they have the equipment and they have the machinery and they have the technical know-how to know persons that are trafficking in these drugs and they are doing the best that they possibly can. We've heard of cleaners from FAN okay. that have found bag full of okay, dollars and money items, yes. and mm -hmm. all that. What would you say has motivated or perhaps motivated this cleaner to keep mm -hmm. on uh, returning the money and the bag that they have found. I remember the cleaner saying it was the way she was brought up, to be honest, to be God-fearing, you know, and then to be faithful. You know, she said the first time she found that bag and she returned it, some of her colleagues were laughing at her. You are a cleaner, you are earning only so much. Mm. This is an opportunity for you to keep this money. But she remembered the training she got at home and mm. she returned it. Mm. And today, She's better for it. Mm. I'm sure if she had kept that money, she would have finished spending it within maybe a few weeks or a month at best. But today, she's known nationally. She has been given a house probably from her job she couldn't have been able to own. Mm. She has a house now, got a presidential handshake, mm. and all over now, she's been recognized generally by different Nigerians. Mm. So honesty pays this. Okay, ma, it's 2020, mm. and I know that in 2019, the um, fund would have had its challenges. Mm. And so Nigerians are expecting mm. so much from fund. So in 2020, can you tell Nigerians what they should expect from the authority? We're taking the issue of safety and security 
very seriously in this year. The MT fan captain Rabiu Yadudu has assured Nigerians that safety is one thing that you know he's going to deal with in this year. At the Mutala Mohammed Airport, I remember um, some two months ago about a passenger that you know came on the as as man into the runway. Exactly. You know, I'm happy to inform you that we have increased the length of our fencing around oh, the Mutala wow. Mohammed Airport, and we have put on it what we call the Constantina wire. This wire, if you go near it, it's going to slash your skin. Wow. So that is to serve as a deterrent to members of the public okay. that we mean business this year. Oh. And of course, we've in, in, uh, improved on our um, vehicular patrol, on our runways, on our airside. And the MD Fund too has given permission for uh, a tower to be built at the Mutala Mohammed Airport. This tower is different from the control tower. It's just going to be a tower where someone will be there to have access to look at both ends of the runway in mm. case of any unauthorized entry by anybody mm. into our airside for any kind of illegal activity. All these are done to ensure that safety and security is done so that we don't have issues in our airports again in this year. And the MD, of course, is very serious about training, mm -hmm. you know, manpower development. We need to be abreast with what is happening all over the world. And this can only be done through trainings and constant trainings. Mm. Um, last year, our training school, at the Mutala Mohammed Airport was accredited wow. and it became an ACI slash ICAO training center. Mm -hmm. So a lot of trainings took place last year and more we're expecting to take place this year in order to develop manpower and to also to keep us abreast of happenings all over the world. All right. Thank you very much, Ma, for this uh, audience. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.